Oi, oi. Right, uh, welcome back to the podcast, and um, thanks for tuning in. Is it make work I? I think we've got the make work in this time. Is it I? Yeah. Um, we just want to start off by saying, um, thanks. What wants out? Mic check, one, one, two, I feel nothing. I'm not a wreck, wrecker. It worked, I. Yeah, so I think we've got the mic working this time. Um, but yeah, first of all, I just want to start off by saying thanks to everyone who's watched the last couple of videos. Um, we didn't expect kind of that amount of views. We said we would have been happy with 100 views, didn't we? Wait, I. And as of right now, that's something like 800 on the first one. And the second one's just run out yesterday. And um, But yeah. Um, there have been people flocking me in the street, man, saying there. Uh, that's you off the show. Can I get an autograph? Sign it. Aye. But um, we've had lots of nice messages from friends and from even people that we don't know, and um, just offering like um, you know positive like advice and stuff, saying they liked it, and um, suggesting a few things we could change. But it's all valued. So thanks very much for all your um, feedback and support. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so we just we've decided we want to keep going. Um, and yeah, thanks again. Anything you wanted to add on to that? Yeah, I had that uh, question, didn't I? Oh, yeah, um, Matthew had a question from I was, a comment. I would say, basically, and we're, we're, if you've got any questions as well, we appreciate them. So he has my first question, and it's off um, Had I'll read it out. And I've actually got it uh, saved. So it's a question from Johnny827, and it comes through on my Instagram, and it reads like this. It says... Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> uh, so, and that's our bad, really, because um, basically it was all talk and what pissed, really, and we were just saying, let's start a podcast. So the last time we did it, it was completely spur of the moment. Mm. Like, Steve's girlfriend, she does music, she had all the cameras and the microphone and stuff like that. So it was uh, it was all spur of the moment, so we didn't even do an introduction, we didn't have a name or anything, did we? So basically, an answer to your question, Johnny, is um, when we're on camera, we call ourselves Nate Filler, but I'm Bootsy, and that's Steve. Good mates from that's years. Good, so, hi, so thanks for that. Good noise out there, do you reckon? Aye. Aye. Shut the door. Aye, we're not the fucking up. I think someone's just been shot. I'll shut this over the door now. Is the, does the shots look all right when I check the camera? I don't know if there's... Aye. Sorry. Aye, it's sweet, aye. We're tired. Aye, we're um, tired. As you can see, this episode has replaced the beers with coffees. Aye, um, see if we can do it. So well, as well. Paul is quite necessary for the first one, because we're obviously both a bit nervous. We thought we'd just get stuck in a few bottles and that, and it did help, and it was probably necessary for the first episode, but um, aye, it's Monday morning, yeah, I know, so it's a bit too early for that. Carry Monday on. morning on a bank holiday. Aye. Aye. We're laughing, aren't we? So, um... We'll get stuck in then. So I know a few people have mentioned um, they would like to see what our kind of reaction was to the Joshua and Music fight. Uh-huh. It was um, it was on early Sunday morning. Yeah, like was it half six, seven a.m. Aye, uh-huh. and I missed it because that was literally the morning after we recorded those first two episodes. So I was rough as toast. So I had, I had all the intentions again to watch it, but I just totally slept in and missed it. But I caught the highlights, watched the highlights again there this morning, and. Um, it was, good, thought, it was a good fight, I thought. But I mean, the first thing that struck us straight away was that. Um, AJ looked like he lost a ton of weight. He did. Like, he's usually his massive overbearing, like, bro, his arms and his shoulders are massive. He looks, he looked like he'd shrank a lot. He did, didn't he? I didn't now understand why he'd um, done that because, like, one of his main, like, attributes is, like, his power and his, oh, yeah, like, did, uh, you know, dominating that kind of thing and, uh, like, and like, big shots and that. Uh, but, um, he just, I don't know if it's because Yusek is obviously a really, really good, like, Technical boxer that he thought he was going to try and box him and I'll point him, and that's what it looked like he tried to do. And obviously, Yusuke had moved up a weight, so maybe I, Joshua was trying to counteract that, we're losing a bit of weight so he could keep up with his speed, maybe. Maybe, but he would I have been at a more of advantage of keeping the weight on because he would just, like, you know. Well, a few people have said that, haven't they? Like, you're, we're, we're looking at, like, fucking, was it called Frock saying that? I. He, he's obviously not the very best of your boxers, Joshua, so maybe he should have came out yeah. swinging and fucking I, used his size. Yeah. But and, I, and I don't, like, think he should have tried to outbox someone who's, like, an unbelievable boxer. Right, he I, should I, have I. went in and just tried to burst them up. Like, uh, um, and I thought if he kept the weight on, he could have maybe done that. And I think, I know he's, um, he's already activated the rematch clause. I think that's what he should do. For the second fight, he should just like put some weight on and just try and burst them. Aye. Like he wasn't throwing any like hard shots. He was throwing like loads of like tappy jabs and like trying to score points and that. Well, but he shit didn't, throw, fair, he didn't throw any power shots. I think he caught him like once in the fifth. He had a couple of good moments in the middle of the fight. 
But um, he didn't really put him in any sort of danger. And I thought, like, yeah, when, and I thought, like, yeah. what, like when this fight um, was first announced and stuff, I thought, AJ's going kind to of burst him. Uh, Not because I didn't think he's a wicked boxer. I think he's a great boxer. But um, he's a cruiserweight. That's uh, what I mean. He's a cruiserweight. It's always dangerous, isn't it, when people step up weights and that. Uh, I've seen loads of times where people kind of compete. He's a solo model. And on his first two um, heavyweight fights, they weren't the most convincing performances. So uh, I thought... Obviously now he's found his feet in heavyweight a bit, he's obviously going to be a bit better, but he's I thought, I thought coming in to fight AJ at heavyweight, I just thought, oh, straight in there, wasn't he? But fuck me, he boxed really well, hats off to both fighters, but hats off to Yusuke, like. Aye. And um, now he's the boy. And now he's the, the, he's the one with the belts, aye. Aye, I was really pleased from him, like, he was ecstatic, what he said, he was crying and everything that. Nah. Unbelievable, but aye, um, good fight, and I'll be interested to watch the rematch. Well, it'll be interesting to see if, uh, with the Wilder and Fury, if Fury was to win that, because mm. I know before the AJ fight, Fury had already dismissed Usyk as a nobody, and right. they like, put him down in that. But uh, fucking yeah. hell, he's he's obviously he's there now. He's like, got to um, give him his credit now, like any. Um, percent man. But yeah, like one thing about AJ, like when he got knocked out of um, Ruiz, um, he did go back to the drum board and change his game plan. Right. Came back and won. I mean, Ruiz and Yusuke are totally different styles of fighters. Like, obviously, oh, yeah. Ruiz is on the level of a boxer, what Yusuke is, but oh, Ruiz yeah, is yeah. just that kind of knockout power. But AJ still went back to the drum board and, you know, thought of a game plan that worked, and hopefully he can do the same. Go back to the drum board, watch the fight back, and, you know, come up with a plan. Oh, and I think I think he can do that, mate. Oh, I, think he, I think he can beat him. But we'll see, yeah. Another fight on that card was um, Campbell Hatton, Martinez, oh, fuck I. and then um, I, like. I saw all the people have uh, comments on Facebook saying there's no way Campbell Hatton won that I fight. It's not ripped then, into it. I, and we watched it this morning there, and um, it was a good scrap. It was, it was a hell of a scrap. I, I, I thought going for um, I agree. I mean, it was a close, very close fight. Like, but I would have thought that Martinez pipped it. Like, um, he was like throwing loads of combinations yeah. and even showboarding them all quick because he was punching them out of that. Well, that's sure it's Campbell Hatton can fairly take a dig. Like, I both. Um, Showed heart in that fight, like I um, did. It was I like, it's good scrap. But uh, what do you reckon? Do you reckon it was it was a robbery? Wait, you fucking look out of an eye. I don't like to put anyone down, really. Yeah. Like, but Zai, maybe Zai. Yeah, it was very close. I'll say that, like. But um, some people had um. That'll probably piss Campbell Hatton off, you know, because he'd be thinking, "Wait, if I got beat, then just give us the loss. Like, like it's done. It like me dad yeah. got beat. Like Ricky, I'd Ricky, rather, I'd rather take the L than uh, Aye, and then he could and then he show. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be put on. The, I, I doubt he wants to just get wins. You know what I mean? Why would you just want the wins? You'd rather, because then people just think, oh, he's just getting the win because of his dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that's probably, that's not what I would want. Like, right? yeah, I agree. And then um, what we've got coming up? We've got Fury Wilder next weekend. Oh, that's, a boss. That's, that's like in, we're still in October. Is, is that this Sunday? Sunday coming. It's the eighth, is it? Is it not the eighth? No, no. Eight, eight, oh no, it is. I know. All right, and the 8th Friday, oh, it's the 11th, right. so it's a week today, but it's obviously Vegas, isn't it? So it'll be like, I oh, hope, oh, it'll be like Monday, yeah. Is it on a Sunday? It's so, wait, it's Monday the 11th? Actually, I don't know. Monday the 11th, yeah. Is yeah, it? It'll be an Aussie time. But All right. right. Hopefully it'll be Sunday afternoon. What you reckon with that fight then? I really hope, uh, I really hope Fury just does yeah. the business again. I think, um, and shuts that fucking idiot up, eh? I think, um, while that's obviously going to be hopefully he doesn't point. come out with fucking rocks in his gloves like last time. Yeah. Hopefully while while that doesn't wear a suit, that's fucking way too heavy for him. Now well, I mean, hopefully the coach doesn't poison his water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully yeah. Fury doesn't yeah. cast the gypsy spell on him. Yeah, oh, no. Well, yeah, yeah. get a grip, yeah. man. Well, that's one thing I saw. Like uh, Fury did it, um, like an online press conference thing on Friday. I watched, um, and um, he was saying like about how fighters can come back from defeat. He says the first thing you, you need to be able to do to come back from defeat is accept defeat. And he hasn't. And he, hasn't. he says he's just given all the excuses. He says when he went through all his dramas in his life, first uh-huh. to get help, you had to accept that that was a problem. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's the same with a fight. You've got to accept, right, I got beat by the better man in the night. I need to make improvements, blah, blah, blah. But while he hasn't done that, he said his gloves were thingy. Apparently there's some compelling evidence towards that, but I don't believe it. Nah. Um, Where is it? Show sure. it. Get techno. Aye. Techno, how I give with the evidence, will you? God knows. But I. Anyway. Aye. But he hasn't accepted the defeat. Nah. He thought he was robbed in some way or he was cheated. 
But um, he's still dangerous, like he's in wicked shape, uh, and he's still got that knockout power, and it's still going to be. That's the thing with like, we've already talked about this in the first one, but this, that's for that split second if he catches yeah. him, and I know he has caught him before and he got up, but how many times can you get up from one of them? Yeah, that's it. We're yeah, not to spend too much time on that. We'll, we'll cover that fight um, in a couple episodes time after it's happened, but um, it would be good if we can get a of oh, we're watching it, like, but uh, we'll try. that would be we'll good. Try to get a reaction video or something. Uh, um, but can you remember the first time we watched it though? Uh, the first I think one. it was in December time. We just put the tray up the night before, and uh, I was hungover watching it. In a, in a, was that that day after they put the tray up? Uh, right? and we're down the casino in Sydney, and um, it was hard to watch. You know, like it was, I was nearly bubbling watching it, man. And, and you know what? Another thing, obviously, the casino is huge in Sydney in the store, and. Um, it was jam packed full of Aussies and British, and all the Aussies didn't want Fury to uh, win. It was a massive, was it was a horrible atmosphere. It was a hellish fight. I was nearly, I was sat in the corner crying. Uh, I could barely watch. Awesome. I'm uh, what an exciting fight it was, though. Uh, I, um, it was class. But I, so moving on, we've got some exciting fights happening in the Northeast. Oh, um, I. We've got Stephen Robinson having his um, fourth pro fight, his first on his new Sky contract. How good is that? Aye, uh, smashing it. The local fight scene's popping off in the uh, tweet. It's electric at the minute. You've got April Hunt uh, all on that card. Lewis Ritson. It's a shame they didn't put Joe Lowe's on. I know, that would have been class. Aye, they could have called it the fucking School of Hard Knocks, yeah. couldn't they? How good they fucking thrive in Newcastle at the minute. Best of luck in your upcoming fights. Aye, best of luck all years, aye. Um, well, class. hopefully we'll be able to tune in. Um, if I hopefully we'll be able to go to fucking watch us one day, like if right. they ever let the borders open again. I know. Yeah, best of luck, and we'll, um, we'll be supporting from down under. 100%. Um, yeah. I see the tune got beat again the other night, speaking of Newcastle. Nah, I didn't want to <laughs> get started on that shit, you know, like, honestly, I, you know, there's, oh yeah, it's like the cat in. Ah, anyway, that seems like I wasn't going to even get on to a topic about football, because I can't even barely hold a conversation about the modern game of football anymore, me, it's like, it's diabolical for me, the, the, my gosh, is killing it, you know, it is. I'll say me bit about Mike Ashley and that's all I'll do. I'll say, and Mike Ashley, he's completely killed football for me. Like he's, and he's a businessman and all that and great. You've got the club in a great financial spot and all that, but for fuck's sake, like, he's playing with a full city's emotions, you know what I mean? He's completely killed it and uh, he's just a one guy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, when I was little, like, watching Newcastle growing up, like, fuck me, I used to think Newcastle best team in England by a mile, you know what it is, I'd say England, I'd say, I'd just say it, and you just can laugh if you want, uh, I'd say Newcastle was the best team in the fucking world, me, like, I'd say, like, how many people can say they've watched Newcastle fucking pump a prime Barcelona, three now, man, or three one, got fucking Tino Asprey, spinning all over the place, he was doing flips, man, you know what it is, if you didn't have a tune top on, I would have thought that was fucking Tom Daly in the, in the Tokyo Olympics. Honestly, he was fucking doing car wheels all the way, he's putting his shirt in the crowd and all that. Yeah, he was unreal, like, fucking hell, man, what happened to that? You've got fucking Mike Ashley, he's, he's not fucking spending nothing. Fucking Keegan brought in, fucking Alan Shearer, 15 million, broke the transfer record, man. What happened to Keegan? That's what I was doing in the stadium in that. When Mike Ashley got rid of Keegan the, the second time, that's when I just was like, I was like, you're fucking killing it for me, like, and I was the biggest football fan, like, I was down at the stadium with my mates, brain on the doors, trying to get into the, into the stadium, you know, and we, uh, we got, we got interviewed on the thing, and, uh, I said, I said a great bit, and, uh, and then my mate, he was pissed and all that, and he asked the, uh, he asked the presenter, I'd get a tattoo now, and I'd get a tattoo of the tune, and the whole thing got cut, in. I thought what I said was going to get through to Mike, actually, I just wanted to sell it, like, how, like, Mike, Fucking, your time's up, mate. Like, just sell the club. Let the let the Saudi Arabians have me. You know what I mean? Like, like, and I don't like the way that that the game's going you now. But if Newcastle's ever gonna compete again, it needs to be taken over because that's the way it's gotta be. And you know? like, like, what happened to the Keegans, man? Like, the Wood Hullet with his sexy football and that. And like, you know what I mean? Like, they were killing it, man. And like, were in FA Cup finals. Like, I don't mean the final, we did get to the final twice off the trot. Semi finals, quarter finals, even the last 16. No, we can't even fucking. I'm going on in that. We can't even get past the fucking first round. Like, I, I used to be, like, passionate about the football and, like, I used to love it. Get him. And it's. Get him. I, I've been triggered, yeah, you know, like, I didn't even want to. Do this. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck you, mate. Actually, you're a fucking prick, Selwyn. Nah, nah, that's, that's as much as I'm going to say, but. 
Aye, yeah. It's a shame. Um, I remember when Mike actually first came in, um, it was a bit of a buzz. I was photos of drinking down the big market and that. Imagine we got in the big market too. Nah, sure, I'll be hoping we'd be after him for I'm having the Mackham slur because that's how he is for me. But um, you know what it is? Um, that's another thing, like Newcastle, man, like back in the heyday, man, Champions League, right? Um, fuck me, like when the Champions League all the time, like you'd have Newcastle would be competing with the very best of, like I already said, we'll pump Barcelona and all that, but it was a few years later. Big Shola, man, fucking pumping goals in against Barcelona. Like, I'm sure Newcastle still hold the record. I might be wrong, we'll get techno on it, right? But I'm sure Newcastle still hold the record. We got beat the first three games and we still went through. Fucking, I remember it like it was yesterday, man. I was watching, thinking, oh, we're going to, we're going to. Andy Griffin against the Juventus. Andy Griffin, in my opinion, one of the very best defenders there's ever fucking been. And he comes screaming during the win and just burst the goal straight at the back of the net. I was like, ah, <laughs> last 16 again. And no, and then even after that, even then when the standard did gang down a little bit, we were still in Europe every single season, man. We were in the UEFA Cup. Like, I used to gang after school and that. Like, I used to go to school on a Friday because it was always on Thursday night when Levi's left. And no, I could barely even tell you the start in 11. Yeah. Like, I'll watch with, obviously, it's bad times and all that, like with the Aussie times. So it is hard to watch. But it just makes it even worse yeah. when we're getting pumped off the legs of fucking wolves to make sure not want to like make the effort to get up the morning. Definitely not, definitely not. But you know what it is? I did say that I didn't want to talk about football, so that's as much as I'm gonna talk about football. Sorry, Mike, like just let it go. <laughs> let it go, mate, it's over. Like, aye, you're a businessman. Go and play with someone else's emotions, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's clear to see we're not really missing the football in England. Uh, at least in, New in Newcastle, anyway. Uh, I know. Is there anything that like, you do miss about Newcastle? Oh, obviously, aside uh, from the obvious, like obviously with family and friends, is obviously always going to be the main one. The I part. think, you know, in terms of like, the little things. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, but you know what it is? We've been now like, in Australia for years and all that, but the last couple of years, we've not actually been allowed to leave the country, I think. That's right. And, uh, it yeah. does make you miss it a lot more when you're not allowed it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like, and I, know, I laugh at you like most weeks because I say Steve's on a quest to yeah. find the very best pizza because... Honestly, the one thing I miss about home the most is the takeaways. Oh, here's the lad. Come on, come on, in. Come He's on. such a clever boy. Come on. Come on, Steve, Steve. You're in our hood. You're in our hood, the lad. I carry on, mate. Really. Aye. So one thing I do miss about home is the takeaways. You know, like proper greasy takeaways. It is different dealing in Australia, like no, it's different it standard at all altogether. Um, like you know, like the proper takeaway deep pan greasy as fuck pizzas. Mm. They just don't exist in Australia. Like they but, didn't do it. Or if anyone is watching in Australia and that is let me know. Right. If anyone knows one in, in Sydney, let me know because I've been on a pizza quest for the last few months since I moved in this area <laughs> and I've tried every fucking takeaway and the ladder area. man it's hard to watch and honestly every time I find a takeaway I'm like oh this looks like it's going to be a this looks like, like, like that this looks like all like, like fancy quite posh takeaways and they're all like thin crust pizzas which like restaurant quality which is nice and that I like a good stone baked pizza now and again but now he's one a big stitchy the big stitchy one the big one like, well, there's bound to be someone watching when yeah. it but I saw I've literally sampled every really pizza shop in the area Week by week, and I've just gave up now. Like I'm just I'm on the oven pizzas because right. I just I'm first thing I do when I get off. Like the last couple of times I've been home, first thing I've done when I've landed, before I even get went to my mum's house, was go straight to the takeaway and get a, a Galaxy or Roma or something. Why well, yeah, yeah. yeah, proper pizza? Proper pizzas, yeah. But do they even get them do in London? Do you even get a proper stitchy do in London? Maybe is it the North East? I don't know. Because they don't even have dregs doing there, man. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, not lately, like, man. Did you have it? That man that got it to Greg. I bet you, you know, I don't think I missed by the way, Greg's. Aye. Fucking right. Aye. You can't be the Greg's, like, can you? Nah. Um, that's another thing. As soon as you're off the airplane in Newcastle, you're straight to Greg's, aren't you? Wait, aye. Power sausage reels. Do you know what else um, is I miss about, about being in Newcastle is the, um, the nightlife? Because, you know, when you're in Sydney and all that, yeah. and I didn't know what it is, like, and I. We're not bad lads, us by a long shot, like we're not looking for trouble or anything like that. We've got a few tattoos and that's about it. But <laughs> But bounce as fuck me as soon as they hear you speak. Nah mate. 
Uh, not the night, like, and you're like, what do you mean, not the night? I've just come. <laughs> How many drinks you had? There was once. How many drinks you had? I was like, oh, one or two. And the bloke looked at his dead and I guns. Well, was it one or was it fucking two? And I was thinking to myself, fuck, mate, it was ten if you must now. Like, but you're not, like, you're not allowed in. But that's, I get that all the time. Like, and it's shit on my ass and like, I mean, what else that I'm with. Because, um, like, yeah, you're speaking. Obviously, I get a little bit loud and all that, but I'm not causing any bother. And the, the bouncer says, what now to do with you? The barman, what now to do with you? So, you find, I find yourself yeah. drinking who's out at the beach it is it is a bit crap that um, they are so strict and there's loads of nights like remember we were out for my mate's birthday down the opera house that uh, old bar whatever that was oh, and, um, huh. or not old bar it was anyway some bar in there and then um, we literally popped out and we went back in and then they wouldn't let me in wouldn't they nah. remember nah. we were at a function like at a birthday party and they wouldn't let me back in I never went on the corner it was for um, my cousin's leaving do Absolutely. And we we'll try to get home the corner after that other one, bungalow it, or them what it's called, and they, they say it's not allowed in the alley, but because they've been on the fucking telephone to the thing, all oh, those two lads uh, causing, causing ruckus. The last uh, thing we did. But I think, like, one thing about that is good is that you didn't, you really, I've never seen any trouble, mate, like, in Sydney nightlife and stuff. I've never really came across any. Do you mess with them island bouncers as well? Nah. Like, that's what I mean. Uh, Whereas, like, well, I thought, I mean, I, I've never been out on the drink in Newcastle in years now, like, but, yeah. you know, from, from memory, it was uh, wild, you know what I mean? Wild, I was, say, I was speaking to me mate just the other day, got a knife pulled on him in the tune, and that's not the way Newcastle yeah. should be. Yeah. Fuck that, like. So, yeah. maybe it's a change of yeah. place. I mean, to be fair, I, would, I still say I miss the nightlife in England, the way not England and Newcastle, because it's obviously, it is it is better. Um, but, I don't know if I'm kind of past that now anyway. I don't know if I'd be out the tune every Saturday like I yeah. used to back in the day no, like, if I was there anyway. I much prefer day drink doing the beach uh, or at the barbecue or something like that. Uh, a few socials in the afternoon and have a bit of a chat with your pals. Aye. Uh, without a doubt. I'm not getting a mushroom until that o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, mushroom. <laughs> what? Three trebles for a fiver. Uh, you can't even get a treble, yeah. I don't uh, you can't get trebles, yeah. Hey, when I, first time I came oh, you back, want a treble, do you? Not the night, mate. I think you've had too much. First time I came to Australia and I went to a bar, I was like, oh, I'm going to have like a treble whiskey and coke. They were like, bro, it was like I was stupid. Like, and I was just thinking, eh, did you not understand? Am I speaking like, Die. is it my accent or something? I was like, treble? You know, like, Finney is just like, no, nah, mate, you'll not get a treble in here. I was like, eh. You'll not get a treble in Sydney. Ah. Uh, and you're like, bah! I mean, it's a good, I do think it's a good thing though because they're like, the, you know, you didn't see loads of people that are just <laughs> smashed everywhere. Nah, that's what's good at the Ganu, though, isn't it? But that's what it is. That's what it is. But yeah. Um, I so hoping that the lockdown does finish and we're all allowed to travel home. When do you reckon the next time you might be able to get home is? Like, as soon as possible for me. Like um, probably summer next year, like July, August. Um, obviously, last time I was there, that'd be good. Me and Cass went back Christmas 2019, and obviously we were there for like a month or whatever. And Aussie's first weeks. Christmas in Newcastle. Yeah, I was Cass's first, <laughs> first time in Europe, so I uh, she got a shock at the uh, the weather. Oh, I pulled it was, and it was cold and hard. So I was at home at the same time. Oh, it was bitter. Um, so I actually so came back like February, like 2020, start last year, and then that literally the month later was when all the COVID shit kicked off. It's lucky we went home then, you know. I know, I um, so lucky, like. Aye, and um, the world as we knew it then doesn't even exist anymore, so everything's changed now because of COVID. But uh, oh, it's fucking shit, man. You know, like, these masks and that, I hate the mate. Me too, I man. honestly hate the mask, like, but yeah, I hope that's one of the things they're taking down. Yeah, aye, I don't think they're gonna be compulsory. I know they're not compulsory in England anymore. No, I see, want to go home in the yeah. summer, I see. Aye, so, um, nice weather. Also, our plan was so we came back, um, obviously January last year, my ma was gonna come out. Like last Christmas, Christmas 2020, but obviously that got knocked on the head. So we then we were going to go home this summer, just gone like two months ago, July, August. Obviously that got knocked on the head. Uh-huh. So my mum said she'll try and get out for this Christmas. That got knocked on the head. So um, hopefully um, we've seen obviously um, international travels going to be allowed from December right, this year. Uh-huh. Hopefully um, this is a fucking Nevada outbreak, the fucking Belt outbreak or something. Yo, the no. fucking Belt Australian. Belt Australian, I. <laughs> but I <laughs> um, so hopefully it'll be next summer and obviously because last thing went back it was fucking frozen 
Um, Cass wants to go and like obviously when it's hot, which will be good to show what it's like in summer because good image of like England and Newcastle is just snow and ice. Oh, but that's the thing though. It's nice though at Christmas time. It's nice Christmas, but I'll tell you at Christmas time you're melting. Uh, you're literally think, in the um, centre of the summer and you're melting. I think then after that, the next time I go back will be like the following Christmas. So right. Christmas like 2023 or whatever that is. Aye. But I, what about you? Oh, we, we, our plans at the minute, like obviously we're not going to be here forever. And we're, we're in an awkward time now where if we go home now, we're going to probably be going home a few months later or maybe like within the year or I don't know, like we're, we're all over the place. So we've not had a holiday together, me and her, for like, it'll be five years with Alice, shite, and like when we have a family and all that, so we want to get away together like next year, so I, I don't know. Yeah. We'll maybe, like, my brother's had two kids and all that, man, I've only met one of them, like, he's already getting married and all that, so them dictate it, really, like, if they get married, then that's what's going to happen. That's it, my brother's obviously got his first banjo in a week, a week on Thursday. So what a buzz, see, Simon, eh? All right, so I want to actually try and get back, you know, that'll be a buzz. Right, um, Uncle Steve. Actually, wait, run that topic, congratulations. Uncle, Uncle Steve thing. Wait, run that, congratulations to Chris and Marion, who've just had the first... Aye, buzzing for Aye, you. Congratulations, all the best. Big snowballs. Aye, any snowball inside? Little Rory in the house. <laughs> Congratulations, hey, Rory. Um, I think that just about wraps up episode three. Um, again, um, just thanks very much for you know watching us and um your feedback and support and stuff. Um, send through any questions I, you know, because obviously like we're not planning these as such. Like we think like between like. When we're sitting down on a night time, we're like, oh, we could talk about this, we could talk about that. But obviously, any help that you can give, if you just want to listen to anything, like, right. let, let yeah, one know. Give, give us some suggestions suggestion. in the comments, what you want right. us to talk about. Is there any particular topics? I know we've we'll had someone say they want to talk about the monkey scene and that. Well, yeah, I'm going to miss and we will, we will. We will, we'll talk about that. We've got so many ideas we want to talk about. But right. yeah, just let them know what you just want to see, really, and we'll, um, we'll do our best. And the thing is, as well, you know, what? Hey, um, what's that thing that I'll say or if you can like and subscribe oh I like and subscribe please um, that would be a great help uh, just, uh, yeah man how, how hard is it just press the fucking button man aye well that's it for me aye me and Al signing out aye I can't say much right that's it and then what do I press here oh yeah it's not recorded <laughs> <laughs> I think that every episode aye, I see it I see it